I was on my way to Beazit, where I was actually planning to show you guys. But I saw this guy, and he, I was in the boat at this time, on my way there. This was actually at the, like, at the station. And this guy was just diving into the water. He was like coming in and coming out. Then he was like taking his shirt, dipping it into the water, taking his shoes, dipping it into the water. It was just strange, but I guess he's like mentally uh, challenged. So I was just, I just recorded him because it was something, you know, like interesting for me. Like I was really enjoying watching him do his thing. Gazal, we are going to walk in there. Oh, look at the sea. Can you see? The sea over there. How oh, beautiful. Anyway, let's walk to this shop. Hello. So this is the first shop uh, I walked into and they only sold like ladies shoes, all kinds of ladies shoes and the prices range from between I think 10 or $10 to $16. That's like from the lowest to the highest and they were strictly selling also. Anyway, the whole of the streets, the shoes that I'll be showing you throughout the video, they strictly sell wholesale unless it's just one or two, three shops, but all of them sell wholesale prices. <coughs> called G-Class. Let's see what's inside. <coughs> now, that guy who left the shop who was coughing, should have just told me, don't go inside the shop. You're gonna choke to death. And he was just standing there watching me go in and choking. I almost died. I don't know what they had put in this shop or what they had sprayed, but it wasn't good. I was dying. I left immediately. But I see these two shops here and here. Let's see this one. Hello. So this is the other shop I walked into, which was right opposite the shop that almost made me die. I almost died from choking. But anyway, this shop is almost also similar to the first shop that I walked into. The price range is almost the same. The pieces almost look like, you know, the same. Just a little bit of a switch here and there, but the designs, the price is almost the same. I'm sure the shoes are expensive, but let's say even the door is made of leather. How about that? Alright. So this shop was particularly selling like quality leather type of shoes which were really good like the quality of these shoes was amazing and even the prices this is the expensive shop that i actually walked into because they were strictly selling leather shoes and uh, mainly male not female so the prices were from between actually 30 36 to 60 dollars that was the price but the quality is great like you feel the shoe, the color, the designs. Like they had all things going on for this uh, shop. I really loved it. 
and um, they sell i think eight pieces for each number like for like if like if it's also they sell like eight pieces like maybe 36 37 38 39 40 41 like that so that's how they sell some design eight pieces see i was just going through the shoes admiring them very nice and unique um shoes and this is a like a Turkish brand actually like, they're made in Turkey and in this area there were so many like also shops that were also like selling this leather materials like leather pieces like all kinds of uh, leather like fabrics so I guess uh, in inside this building probably is where like they make the shoes or maybe they have factories elsewhere I don't know Tamam. So this shop had um, like different types of shoes, like they had also leather shoes, but women's shoes and they had like sandals like open shoes like cute shoes this particular section was the one i liked so they had like one side leather shoes and then the other side other types of shoes so yeah They were also very comfortable, these shoes, like I was trying to pinch to see how, you know, how it feels. They looked like comfortable shoes, like to walk with. And they were selling this, this, um, the leather shoes in this particular shop, I don't even remember. The price, I think I forgot. I really need to be writing things down, but it wasn't that expensive. That is the wholesale price. I don't know the retail price. The retail price you can find them in just the normal uh, basic shops. But strictly, I was doing like wholesale. Like in case you were interested in, in starting a business, in in Kenya or in Africa or anywhere, like you can buy from Turkey. And they have a uh, very nice quality good shoes. So if you're interested. You can let me know i will give the contact i normally ask them to give me their business numbers so i have a lot of them if you're interested let me know but yeah
like garissa lotion. It's really garissa lotion. It's just hectic. By the time I go home, I have a headache. I'm exhausted. See this one, you want to see. Yep, this is just like it's me. But more organized than this. At least this, you can walk. That's what I'm looking for the most. To throw your ass in. Then see if I can walk uh, into more shops. Oh, I'm just gonna go. Mm, should we walk to this shop? Let's walk to this shop. So that guy in that shop, she said, No videos, mom. No taking videos. I'm like, Okay, bye bye then. Because I ain't got no time. Anyway, let's see this shop. Hopefully they won't tell me. Mm. Okay. and it was built in when let's see 1659 okay where is the section for Philo? So I'm just done praying Asr and uh, I'm tempted to sleep in the mosque. Sleeping in the mosque is the best, like the best sleep you would have. If you like growing up, I remember when you go to Madrasa, when you're fasting, you will sleep inside the mosque. It was the best sleep or like the best sleep like you would ever have in the mosque. I don't know why, but I'm literally tempted, but I have a long way to go, so I'm gonna go. But before I leave, there's a lady, a Somali lady who was praying right here. She came to me and told me, because I had put my phone here and my headphones. So she's like, um, whenever you pray, don't put your phone and your things on the side. Always put them in front of you, because apparently they are thieves. She's like, some kids will come and still you think I'm like wow in the mosque this only happens on the European side the ghetto I don't think I've ever had that on the Asian side so yeah when I tell you European side is hectic it is hectic but it is what it is anyways so alhamdulillah anyways like we were only four people playing so I'm gonna head out take the tram line just behind me like in front of this mosque the, the tram line passes in front of the mosque then go home okay so we'll meet on the Asian side. Bye-bye.
this is the the Grand Bazaar area, that side. The Bayazid. I don't know what this monument is but yeah i'm waiting for the for the tram so we're very impatient they will just honk and honk like crazy oh it's coming traffic going to the boat like to dry yourself very convenient the one thing i love about this place the water is also warm how oh, amazing so i'm going to end the vlog in this clip where i was going to pray maghrib and this was the end of my day after here i was going home so if you've enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment section I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. That is the most important part. Liking. The more you like, the more YouTube will recommend the video to so many people. And I will keep doing this series of what kind of businesses to invest in Turkey. Inshallah, until Ramadan is over, then we will get back to the street interviews. So thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. And until next time, see you in my next video, Inshallah. Bye-bye.